What's up, Goon Squad? Another day here. It's a little bit wet outside. It's raining right now, but we're still gonna get some work done. We're heading right now to pick up a hood for the Rubicon, and we're also gonna go pick up some paint, and we might paint something. We might set up a tent, or we'll try to figure something out. So we'll catch you guys there. We have arrived here at the FedEx location. So we had a little altercation with the FedEx delivery guy. Our dog kind of snapped at him, so they said they would not be delivering anymore unless we got our dog put up. Is it heavy? Uh, not bad. All right, next we're going to pick up some paint at a body shop. They mix paint there and everything. We got the paint code PB3 for that blue Rubicon, and we'll catch you guys there. We are here. I'm gonna get some paint. What do you think of that cool? All right, so they gotta order some paint for us, or one of the parts of the paint, so they gotta mix. So he's gonna order it, it's gonna be back in, it's, we're gonna be back in like 30 minutes, cause that's how long it takes for them to get maybe longer the we'll color in some stuff yeah we're gonna go ahead and prep the hood and the grill for paint and then we're gonna come back here and we're gonna pick up the paint and we'll go from there back at the house here we got the package we're gonna open it hopefully it's undamaged i mean but it seems to be pretty good in a pretty good package because it's double packaged and the first yeah. box wasn't even damaged at all yeah, it was a little damaged over here, so I'm worried about the tip of the hood over there at the bottom being oh, damaged. Yeah. New parts tend to cut you, especially from Taiwan. Right. Now we did order this off of eBay. What was the price on it? 155. 155 bucks. I don't really like ordering hoods off of eBay because shipping, you know, they're really easy to dent and stuff. But yeah. I asked the guys that are shipping it out, and they said. Don't worry about it. We'll ship it real nice. <laughs> so let's hope. Don't see any damage so far. So far, so good. Looks good. Corners are good. That's what you really want to inspect: is the corners, the edges. Oh, that's flawless. Probably the cheapest parts you can get off of eBay. Yeah. yeah. I have purchased a hood before from uh, LKQ in Chattanooga and uh it even came in damaged and it was locally this came all the way from like pennsylvania or something and still and it's in better condition so we're gonna go ahead and hang that hood up about right there and we're gonna prep it for paint be careful on the edges man. Cut. Perfect. let's also open up this fender here see yeah. what kind of see what condition it's yes, in sir. too much boxes anybody need cardboard for your bonfire or for your packages or whatever you want free, free free boxes guys with the with the aftermarket front fenders you do need the oem fenders because you cut them pretty much yeah so we're going to end up cutting this one yeah you use the inside of these stock ones so even if this one is damaged it's not even going to matter hundred dollar wine voucher anybody need Ooh. that chang jong auto parts from your local taiwan That looks good. Looks good. I haven't inspected it, but I just want to inspect this because this is what you will need for the stock insides. We need that. Yeah, uh, on the aftermarket flares, you got to cut all this out. I'm gonna start sanding on the inside of the hood, in the fender, and this grill. So we're gonna go ahead and gut this grill, scuff the hood, the fenders, and get it all ready for paint. This uh, track bar is also gonna go blue. We're gonna color match it, so we're gonna paint that with everything else. Nice metallic blue, which the paint code is PB3. So we're about to go pick up the paint, and uh, we're gonna keep sanding, getting it prepped. So we just picked up an awesome package. Check it out. It's a custom-made steering kit. So that's the lower steering part of it. These are completely solid, got heim joints. They heavy. are heavy duty. These are solid. There's no bending this. Exactly. And we are also going to be painting this uh, to color match. Yeah. Hardware bolts here. And we'll be showing you guys how we install that in a later video. So we are going to paint actually both of the track bars to color match. So they're going to be hyper blue, hyper blue, and these 
bars are going to be hyper blue. So we're going to take out the heim joints on both ends to make it easier for us to paint. Fully solid, so they're pretty dang heavy. All right, guys, so we got some exciting news here. A lot of you guys have been asking for it. So here we have it. Let's see what it is. Oh, man. Check it out, guys. We got some decals. Goon Squad decals. For you guys. We're going to go ahead and slap that sucker on right there. Because this one is simply built and it's complete. It totally messed up on our decals. Uh, the, you can't even put them on glass because they are clear and they're not opaque. So I guess it was kind of my fault. I accidentally did the wrong order. I put in the wrong option. But since these are the clear, you can put them on like white vehicles. Um, you cannot put them on black vehicles, which sucks. So any other, any other color than black will work. So I'm just going to order fresh new decals that will actually work for your glass. But that's what they're going to look like. If you got any comments on what you think I should make them look like, let me know. And uh, I'll make some more decals. So these decals won't work everywhere, but they'll work on surfaces like this. Gray. So I'm going to go ahead and slap this on here. Which is not the best. Dude, that looks good. But it works the best on lighter surfaces. Either white, blue, stuff like that. Anything but black. Anything but black or dark colors. All right, guys, so we just got the paint. Where's the paint, man? Right Where's the paint? Got right, the paint's there. And we're going to go eat some tacos. Ooh -wee. This is yeah. a fire. It's the right way to do it right here. Authentic. And you can't go wrong with these aritos. That was some good stuff. Perfect. You work hard, you eat even better. Now time to get back to business. All right guys, back in the garage here, we picked up some sandpaper and some scuff pad. We're gonna finish up sanding everything down and getting it prepped for paint. And then we're gonna find a spot where we can set up and paint. I don't think we'll do it in the garage because the, the paint smell and the fumes kind of get inside the house. So we're not gonna do that anymore. We're either gonna set the tent up outside or find uh, or find a way to paint in that shed out there. So we uh, sanded this down to the metal because it was rust underneath the paint. And uh, before you paint this, you wanna hit it with some kind of primer. We use this self etching primer. It's a really nice stuff and it's maximum adhesion. So that's why I love this stuff. So we're gonna hit all the metal with it. And we're just gonna hit the whole thing. We already wax and grease removed it and tack cloth it. So let's get to it. Let that dry and throw another one. So we're getting ready to scuff this hood. All you need is a 3M scuff pad from O'Reilly's or something or your local paint store and just scuff the whole thing, get it ready for paint. Now I'm gonna take you guys to a place that's very dear to us. Many of the exercises were done here. So let's go to the shed. Welcome to the shed. -na 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 -na. So we got it all hung up. We're going to cover up all this other stuff back here so we don't get overspray on it. This is our little gym. Got the bench press there. Got the weights. All that good stuff. We're going to set up. We're going to set up a couple fans. We're going to start covering stuff up that we don't want overspray on. What you got there? Now, what do we have here? I don't even know. He's keeping it secret from me, guys. I don't even know myself. What? No way. No freaking way. We got your curry anti-rock. That's awesome. Dude. I didn't even know. That's what I'm talking about. All right, guys. So we're going to put that back in the box, and we will be installing that later. So this is how we got it set up. So we got this fan sucking out. We got that fan blowing in and we got this fan blowing out and we got everything uh, wax and grease removed. We got a tack cloth. So it's pretty much ready to spray. Two. 
All right, so that's the first coat. A really light coat, and now we're about to throw a second coat, and possibly up to three. What do you think? Just depends on how much we get covered. All right, sounds good. Let's get to it. <laughs> in a final third time to cover all that stuff all the bars that were black just get anything that we missed all right so now that we have up to three coats of paint we are now going to make some clear coat and get ready to spray it another coat of clear for the bars uh, we're not too worried about the hood it's going to look good and um, hope for no runs behind bars literally we just finished throwing clear coat on these uh, high clearance bars HD and the track bars front and rear we got the hood painted and clear coated the grill and also the inside of the fender we just painted the inside of the hood because when we're gonna be painting the whole Jeep we're gonna paint the top of it so it'll all match evenly so guys stay tuned we got a lot more exciting things coming for the channel if you're new be sure to like and subscribe and turn on the post notification button to stay tuned to know when a new video is coming up. Also, follow us on Instagram to get an early sneak peek of what we're working on. Make sure to check us out and give us a follow. Also, guys, be sure to check out GoonSquad.com. Check out some hats. Get you a shirt. Get you a hoodie. We got it all. We're about to get some decals up there. So, guys, stay tuned. Be sure to check it out. We also ship internationally. Any international fans out there, be sure to copy some merch. If you guys want to help support the channel, go to our GoFundMe or our Patreon. Helps us a lot. Helps us for our future shop build. And I do appreciate everybody who supported us so far. It's been great. Appreciate the help. Thank you all. Stay tuned, and we'll catch you guys next time. Peace.